Welcome back. Let's talk about the two new additions to the Mira products with Young Living. If you have not smelled the Mira shave gel that we already have, it is amazing. It's actually more like a shave oil, but I have actually been using the Mira shave oil for my hair, but hold on to that thought because now there's something even better. All right, first up is the new Mira Luminous Cleansing Oil. And of course, since I do skincare for a living, this was very exciting for me. Uh, and it's in a big bottle, you guys. I was surprised. This is four ounces, which is nice for a cleansing oil. So let's talk about a cleansing oil for a second, because I know a lot of you are going to tune me out and you're going to go, Michelle, I've got oily skin, can't use it. And if you heard me on the previous video where I gave a recap of all the convention products, I'm going to call you out and say, yes, you can. Everybody can use a cleansing oil because think about this logically. Oil breaks up oil. Yes. Are we all in agreement about that? Oil breaks up oil. Water does not break up oil. So if you have oily skin, this is perfect for breaking up the oil on the face. It's perfect. Think about this in another way. If you have um, your father, your spouse, your brother, your uncle, your sister, whoever tends to work on um, cars or automotive parts or tractors in our neck of the woods down here, and their hands get greasy, right? They don't just walk over to the sink and wash their hands. That stuff's not coming off, y'all. So what they do, if you tinkered around out there in the tool shed, they've got this can of goopy stuff. It's oil-based. They stick their hands in that oil-based stuff and they rub them together. Oil breaks up oil and then they go wash them with their soap and water. Okay, so are you following? Are you tracking? Okay, so if you have oil on the facial skin, guess what? You take a little bit of cleansing oil, dry hands, dry face, two to three pumps, and you work that all over the skin, it breaks up that oil for you so nicely without stripping the skin, it's beautiful. Then you stick your little fingers under some running water, add that water to emulsify it, work that around again. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it is heavenly. It is heavenly, okay? The same thing if you have drier skin like me. Dry hands, dry face, two to three pumps, which is a very small amount, two to three pumps into your hand, and you work that around into the face, right? Some people will use it as just a makeup remover before their cleanser. That's fine. I use it as my cleanser, okay? It is great at taking off makeup, including super duper pigmented lipstick, but uh, I can take off my eye makeup, my mascara and everything, and I have very sensitive eyes. After having LASIK eye surgery, everything bothers my eyes now. I can take off my eye makeup with no problem. Again, dry hands, dry face, two to three pumps. Work that around and then add a little water onto your hands. Work that around again to emulsify that and then rinse it clean. And your face feels amazingly soft, amazingly soft. And then continue on with your skincare routine. By that, I just add my moisturizer, okay? Um, I get bored, so I don't use a cleansing oil every single night. I use cleansers some nights. I, I use different things some nights. The skin has memory, so I like to change things up. But I love this cleansing oil because until this came out, I, I always made my own. This is fantastic. And the smell, the scent is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Okay, so why is the scent so nice? It has Lang Lang essential oil in it. It has Lang Lang, it has Joy, it has jojoba oil, which is the closest match to the natural sebum production of the skin that we have, and argon oil. It is amazing. Okay, gives delicate skin on our face the gentle care that it needs. It's formulated with essential oils like sandalwood, rose, jasmine, pure carrier oils, including uh, jojoba and argon. It removes pore clogging impurities without stripping away the natural oils that your skin needs. Um, I told you how to use it already. So it's gentle on dry or sensitive skin. 
Um, we already covered the fact that you can use it if you'd like to, if you're oily. Um, cleanse is clean with water. It contains antioxidants to improve texture and appearance of the skin. It softens and moisturizes. It's safe for all skin types. It is plant-based and naturally derived ingredients. It is vegan, obviously, naturally with Young Living. It is cruelty-free, not tested on animals. And what's it formulated without? Hmm? Can I hear it? Without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, petrochemicals, animal-derived ingredients, synthetic preservatives, synthetic fragrances, synthetic dyes, colorants. Basically, it's formulated without the yuck that we know that Young Living doesn't include in their products. So, questions. Um, is this recommended for oily skin? Look at there. Yes. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Uh, it is formulated for all skin types. This product will not clog pores. Got that? Will not clog pores. Leaves no heavy, oily residue. Y'all just have to trust me. All right? Just trust me and try it and use it the way I told you to use it, please. Okay? Can I use this as a makeup remover? What did we cover? Yes! You can use it as a makeup remover. Um, and it also is fantastic at removing water-resistant sunscreen. Y'all, I tried this um, because, you know, when you when you have a sunscreen on and then you take a shower, sometimes you're like, you still feel like you've got that sunscreen on your face. So I used Young Living's new SPF 50, which we'll cover in another video, and I felt like I really wanted to get that off my face. I'm not used to using, um, it, you know, that heavy of a sunscreen all day long and then being outside in the heat and humidity. So I just felt kind of gross. That took that off. It was amazing. It was amazing. And does it contain any ingredients derived from gluten? No, we already answered that. So that is the new cleansing oil. Definitely put that on your ER order. Now, next in the Mira product line is the lustrous hair oil. Super nice. Remember I told you that I was using the shave oil for my frizzy hair. Okay. I am I am just not a good walking billboard for my hairstylist. I'm just not because how lazy when it comes to my hair. All right, so let me tell you about this hair oil. Okay. It's a luxurious multitasking hair treatment formulated to keep your locks soft and shiny, no matter your hair type. Isn't that nice? No matter your hair type. It is a lightweight oil infused with essential oils, of course. Uh, it contains hydrating argon, uh, monoe, and Abyssinian oils, fatty acids, and vitamin E. It has a pleasant light fragrance, absorbs quickly, leaving your hair sleek, hydrated, and glossy, not greasy. All right. It has Lang Lang and Rose essential oil. It smells phenomenal. Light, fresh scent calms frizz throughout the day. Uh, improves hair's manageability, softness, shine. Gives a sleek, high gloss, silky finish. Minimizes frizz, flyaways, and tangles. Mine gets tangled very easily. Can be used on wet or dry hair. I usually use mine on dry, but you can use it either way. Contains 100% plant-based, naturally derived ingredients. And vegan and cruelty-free, not tested on animals, of course, and formulated without all of the yuck stuff that we talk about all the time, right? So, question, will this product make my hair greasy? It's formulated with oils that are traditionally used for hair and considered lightweight, so it will not make your hair greasy. Here's the key. As always, apply it according to usage directions. So, what does that mean? Okay, that means that if the directions say apply a small amount to hair and you go putting half the bottle on, guess what's going to happen? Hello? Your hair is going to be greasy. Don't do that. Like, just use a couple drops at a time, y'all. Really. Okay? Uh, is it safe to use on colored hair? Asking for a friend because I'm a natural blonde. Can't you tell? Uh, there are no known safety issues associated with using this hair oil on colored hair. The chemicals used for hair coloring may damage your hair's protective layer. That's true. Like how many people get their hair colored and it, it's rough on the hair, isn't it? This leads to loss of moisture and in some cases makes the hair look dull and lifeless. And this oil 
may restore hair's luster by adding more shine and body to your hair as well as providing hydration through the argon oil. So for me, I love to take, it's just a little dropper, and I just take just a couple drops. Actually, I put like three or four on there just now. And it's so light. It smells phenomenal, but it's so light. It's just light, light, light. I work it in to my dry hair because I don't wash my hair every day, you guys, because my hair is really dry. And so it, the more I wash it, the drier it gets. So I like to have a product that I can put on dry hair and tame the frizzies down. And gosh, and that's just, and then actually I just rub the rest, what's left onto my hands because it's amazing. See, like no oily residue. And my hair is not greasy. Why? Because I didn't put half the bottle on. I only used a few drops. I mean, come on, really. So let me tell you what else you can do with this. Ooh, this is really neat for all of you eyeshadow lovers out there. This will be in, an, an, in another video, but this is the new eyeshadow palette. This is in another video. Let me show you what you can do. Do you like cream eyeshadows? Do you? Let me show you what you can do. So these are pressed mineral eyeshadows, but check this out. You can take one drop of the new Mira hair oil and put it right in the middle of your eyeshadow and then rub that around and you have a beautiful cream eyeshadow. Isn't that awesome? Ah, and it just applies beautifully. The lighting is here is not good, but it is a beautiful, I'm going to turn my hand, but it's a beautiful cream velvety finish when you do that. So for those of you who love cream eyeshadows, there's a little hack with your hair oil. How about that? All right. So those are the two new Mira additions to the product line. Add them to your ER.